Okay, the horrific cost in human lives, lost civil liberties, and trillions of tax dollars spent in response to the official account of 9-11. There can be no more urgent need than for our country and the world to find out who put those materials in the World Trade Center and why. This need makes it all the more disturbing that top engineers in charge of the government's investigation would avoid dealing straightforwardly with all the evidence that AE 9-11 Truth and others have repeatedly brought by the, to their attention, much of which has been available in the public record since the beginning. John Gross, this co-project leader, has denied the existence of, or even any reports of, molten iron or steel at the World Trade Center. They stopped their analysis of the towers complete and highly energetic destruction at the very point when the destruction began. And they have dismissed or avoided serious analysis of the additional evidence with which we are concerned, such as, one, both Twin Towers were completely dismembered and destroyed in 10 to 14 seconds. For this to happen, all 47 of their massive core columns, as well as a large fraction of their external columns, would have to be severed with explosives beforehand. Two, more than 100 first responders reported hearing explosions and seeing flashes of light at the onset of destruction. Light flashes indicate explosive detonations. Three, multi-ton steel perimeter wall sections were ejected laterally at 60 miles per hour to a distance of 600 feet. That speed and distance indicates that a high pressure ex explosion initiated the ejection. Four, 90,000 tons of concrete and metal decking were pulverized in midair, again indicating explosions. Five, World Trade Center 7, a 47-story building, which was not hit by an aircraft, came down in pure free fall, in pure free fall acceleration for more than 100 feet, a significant fact that NIST's Sham Sunder was forced to admit after being presented with our research. Yet NIST has failed to review or acknowledge the obvious implications of this fact, which is that the columns must have been explosively severed within fractions of a second of each other. These are, there are other errors and omissions in NIST's official report. One, NIST overstated the severity and duration of the fires in all three skyscrapers, apparently in order to more credibly attribute the destruction to the fires, yet without exaggerating them enough to account for molten iron or steel. Two, NIST and FEMA did not follow the National Fire Protection Association standard procedures for fire and ex ex explosion investigations and test building debris for explosive residues. Three, NIST did not test, oh, pardon me, uh, NIST did, yeah, three, NIST did not test for explosive, explosives when explosive demolition was the most likely hypothesis. Number four, NIST's animated computer model of Building 7's destruction showing the outer walls crumbling inward like a piece of foil bears no resemblance to the actual collapse as seen in the videos. Number five, NIST claims that the falling section of each of the Twin Towers above the jetliner impact zones crushed the intact tower section, but video analysis reveals clearly that the upper sections disintegrated in waves of explosions prior to any crushing of the lower sections. This indicates that the top sections could not have been the cause of the destruction of the lower sections. Number six, NIST's technical analysis into the Twin Towers collapses stops at the initiation of collapse. There is no technical analysis of the structural behavior of the building during the collapse itself. In response to our request for correction on this matter, 
NIST acknowledged that they were, quote, unable to provide a full explanation of the total collapse, end quote. There is much more, but I'll stop here. I urge you to go to our website, ae911truth.org, for more information, including comments by our members on the problems with the official investigation. At this point, we are calling for Attorney, Attorney General Eric Holder to ask a federal grand jury to begin an investigation of those responsible for, for the NIST report, including NIST lead investi investigator Shyam Sunder and co-project leader John Gross. We'd like, we'd like any and all reporters who will be covering this story to know that architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth are here to give you any technical support you need. Detailed information is available on our DVD, 9-11 Blueprint for Truth, The Architecture of Destruction, which is available on our website, ae911truth.org. Finally, I'd like to thank the thousands of scientists, senior level members of the military, intelligence and other government officials, pilots and aviation professionals, firefighters, scholars, and university professionals, 9-11 survivors and their family members, and average citizens here and around the world for their continuing support. We also want to thank our growing family of more than 300 sustaining financial supporters. We could not do this without you. Thank you very much.